Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One is Fresh Prince of Comic Book Collecting. The other is We Own the Night, episode 17K, where I get this beautiful Black Panther statue from my brother Le uh, Leonard Hudson. Also check out some of my other videos like Mad Max Fred and the World to the Fury Contest and also Lord of War. And I will catch you girls and guys later. Peace. See which one they want. Summertime family fun. Put on my six fingers and interrupt the video. Look at these old schools. <laughs> Tails from the crib. Halloween and Purge. I need some Adam Hughes, Laura Croft. Very cool. Cowboy. Oh, look at the Phantasm. Dang, I gotta get that. I want that, And I've had the time of my life. Love this damn Wonder Woman. She's so sexy. Don't tell my wife that. Oh, Suicide Squad. Definitely got to pick that up. Very cool. Fill out my sex fingers. Don't open it. There he is. These should be super cheap because I'm a bit bombed. Uh, Ghostbusters. Oh, that edge figure is really cool. Natty. My girl always looking for Natty. Uh, I'm a member of maintenance to aisle 26 in groceries. I need a member of maintenance to aisle 26 in groceries for cleanup. 
Sergeant Slaughter. Look at Shane. Cool for angle. Sensky Amora. Transformers. The heck is this? Boris the Wolf? Star Screen. Let Megatron. Well, this is pretty cool. If it was bigger, I'd get it. Benicio Del Toro. Very cool. <laughs> Had to stop and refuel. I'm cooking some fried rice. Hibachi style. So very cool. It's very good too. Get like my six fingers into it to video. Anyway, want some? There you go. Yeah, well. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One is the Fresh Prince of comic book collecting. The other is Lord of War. We also have Best in the World, From Dust Till Dawn, and No Reservations. You girls and guys be safe out there. Peace. Hey, what's up, comic book peeps? Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, the uh, Channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. And today, I got a small little comic book haul. But you know, it's all good. You know, I've been interrupting your videos with my extremely handsome face. <laughs> and uh, I've been kind of narrating the video that way. Uh, but look at your background. Your background is some of my Batman adventures I recently picked up. I think I picked them up for all 50 cents. So you have number one, you have number two, you have number three. Then you have a break in the run, which is uh, Mask of the Phantasm, and that is actually signed by Paul Dini. As you can see, that's the signature right there. Focus before that boy Dario gets on me about my camera not focusing. And then you have number four, and this number two is what started me on the Batman uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle run. Uh, definitely wanted to pick that up because... I uh, love Harley Quinn. So, you have some cool Joker covers. Uh, shout out to Joker68. I think that, I think his birthday passed, but, you know, I, I didn't do a video, but, you know, I'm mentioning him in this video. Happy birthday, my friend. And, uh, yeah. Let's get it to our sponsor. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by My fake Darth Maul from China, who actually stole one of my dreads. That is an actual dread in his hand. Somehow I'm going to have to find a way to kind of uh, put that back in my head. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to braid it back in my hair, but very cool. All right, so you know how we do on this channel. Let's get into some comments. And while showing you some of my Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle adventures, this is uh, the number one. Uh, this is very cool. They have like different versions to this uh, cover. Um, this is, let me see what cover it is. If you allow my six fingers to interrupt the video right there, that says this is the recover. So that's number one. 
Then, of course, over there we have number two with Harley Quinn. A beautiful number three with uh, Poison Ivy. Definitely love that cover. Poison Ivy is like, wow, she's just so awesome. I just can't wait till I run across her first appearance. I've seen her first appearance in a lot of you guys' videos. Um, and it must it must be like uh, either easier to get than the first appearance of Deadpool because, and it's an older comic than Deadpool, but I see a lot of people have it. So I definitely can't wait till I run across the first appearance of uh, Poison Ivy. I definitely uh, want that in my collection. So that is number three. And to end this run, I actually ended it at number four with uh, Scarecrow. And I know they uh, redone the Batman and Ninja Turtles series. Uh, this is the adventure. They actually have one with uh, with like Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Shredder. I don't know if I... L let me see if I can dig that one up out of the dungeon. But it's very cool. There it is, the Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first time they teamed up. You know, when I have to dig this one out of the other part of the dungeon, I must have had it for a while. Uh, this one was actually a gift from my good friend of the channel, Comic Book Wendell, who my boy, big brother, Mr. Rick and Mortis named Comic Book Window. <laughs> but very cool. This is uh, Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, yeah. Wow, very cool. So here's a cool look back at the run. Batman and THG Ninja Turtles. Number one of six, which actually uh, led off into Batman and THG Ninja Turtles Adventures. So that's uh, one of six. I didn't get the rest of six issues. And then you have one, two, three, and the beautiful number four four with the scarecrow but uh out of all these covers i definitely have to say that number two is possibly my favorite because it has my baby my baby harley quinn all right so let's get into some more comments definitely want to show you this cool uh dark knight batman number one that i bought I think I got this for like 50 cents, so I lucked out with this. Uh, I actually geeked out when I saw it. Uh, you ready? My boy, uh, Leonard Hudson. I went uh, eight nuts and giggled like a dolphin when I actually got a chance to buy this. And if you're a Batman Dark Knight fan, you definitely have to get the first appearance of uh, the White Rabbit. So very cool. Definitely glad to have these in my collection for a while. I bought them to you. I bought them to you on the previous video, which is uh, very cool. Definitely love these two books, especially the White Rabbit one. Definitely glad to have them in my collection. Speaking of the Dark Knight, look at this cool Joker poster I have down in the dungeon. Why so serious? Man, I wish Heath Ledger wouldn't have passed away. He was the best Joker of all time. Okay, so we're at the point of the video where you ask me, hey, Fred Hall, Direct Edition, what are you reading right now? And this is what I'm actually reading right now. I bought this to you as a main event and one of my further videos because it's a hard book to get. This is Universe X number two. If I can get all of the Universe X books, I would definitely love it. Um, you have Deadpool right there, and you have a couple more people. Of course, you have the Hulk. Uh, it's very hard for me to remember all these characters because the Age of Apocalypse came out so long ago, but uh, definitely cool. This is what I'm reading right now, Universe X. Here's a cool look at the back advertisement of uh, Universe X. Uh, when Casper the Ghost came out, it was a very good movie. I definitely love this movie. Wasn't it your girl from um, the Edo family who actually played in the movie with them? Uh, but very cool movie. All right, with that being said, let's get into some of your main events. Yeah. Okay, this main event goes out to my boy, uh, Timothy, the Canadian comic book hunter, uh, because I saw this on his channel and 
then on, I said, I have to have this in my collection. I don't care what it goes for. I don't care what it means to other people. But to me, this book means the world. You have Powdered Toast Man versus Spider-Man. And I actually read this book and was cracking up the whole way through. This is a very good book. This is one of my holy grails. This is the Brennan Stippy Show number six. Powdered Toast Man versus <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> oh my God, this book is so ridiculous. Uh, but I actually got it for uh, half off. And this book actually goes for like $5. And if you read the caption, the caption would crack you up. The caption says, because no one demanded it, Spider-Man versus Powdered Toast Man. Wow, very cool. But shout out to my boy, uh, Timothy, the Canadian comic book hunter. Uh, definitely put me on to this book. And since I saw it on his channel with his Rick and Mortys, I uh, definitely had to have it. Definitely had to have it. Wow, man, your first <laughs> your first main event is so cool. <laughs> and for your second main event is Wonder Woman number 51. Uh, very cool David Finch cover. It has the dragon. In the background, if you definitely know me, you definitely know I love Wonder Woman. Everything about Wonder Woman. She is my second favorite superhero S besides Storm. Uh, Fred rocking with rocking in the background. But this is uh number fifty one from twenty sixteen. David Finch cover. Wow, just look at these two covers, man. Just very awesome. Very awesome. So that's your second name. And since we're all the way balls out Batman themed on this video, you know, last video we were very much uh, all new X-Men or X-Men themed. But this video we're Batman themed. I picked up Red Hood and the Outlaws number one from the New 52. And I remember this book was very hard to get at. Very rare to have. And I'm definitely glad to have this in my collection. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Especially with Arsenal. Uh, my holy grail of Arsenal books is to get that one where he was speedy and he was actually shooting up dope. So, uh, definitely glad to have this in my collection. Very cool. Let's see what year this is from. This is from the year 2011. So, very cool cover. Uh, definitely glad to have this in my collection down in the dungeon. So, there you have it. You know what? I'm going to give you one more main event. And just to show my boy, who I love so much, Samuel Trejo, that all my videos are going to be X-Men themed, this is Uncanny X-Men number 280. And this is uh, plugging in the holes and plugging in the gaps of my run. It's a very cool Jim Lee cover. Definitely, definitely love this cover. Had to have it in my collection. Just very cool. Just Jim Lee is my favorite artist of all time. Period. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is Fred Hall, Direct Edition. Uh, Don the Doctor, I've already sent your stuff out. It should be in the mail uh, before I even uh, finish this video uh, because I did it this morning. And I will catch you girls and guys later. Congratulations to all the... Hey, Fred. Shh, shh, shh. Congratulations to all the people that won the contest. Uh, who entered the contest. You, are, you guys are all winners. And like I said, happy birthday to my boy, Joker68. And also, shout out to the comic book villain, too, because every time he shoots his video, he reminds me of uh, this uh, Batman, uh, the animated series, because it starts off with that song. Remember, words of wisdom, focus on the ones that show you love and on the ones that don't show you love. We're just going to keep our roll over without them. And I will catch you girls and guys later. Be safe out there. Come on, boys. Let's say it together. Say it together. Peace. 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 Peace.